Welcome back everybody to the Detroit Lions franchise. Just wanted to thank you guys once again for all the support. Hope you guys are enjoying this franchise as we're in season number three. And it's not been a very good start. One in three, not looking good. We made a few moves last week. One was Amon Ross St. Brown. He kind of gave us a demand, new contract or a trade. And we ended up trading him to the Indianapolis Colts. And looks like they have given him a new contract. Five years over $75 million, so there you go. Amon Ross St. Brown gets his money, will be the number one target there in Indy. So good luck to Amon Ross St. Brown. He got what he was looking for, and there you go. So we needed to fill that void for with Amon Ross St. Brown. And we offered up to Sean Elliott. Ravens wanted him, and we get Rashad Bateman back in return. Now, obviously, Bateman, a former first-round pick, his best season was 55 catches last year, best touchdown marker. But obviously, in that Ravens offense, you know, receivers aren't going to be the main target. You got Mark Andrews, who's arguably the best tight end in football. Lamar Jackson, J.K. Dobbins, that run game, it's so good. But I think Bateman's going to fill in very nicely here. Speaking of big-time acquisitions, that's what the Seattle Seahawks, the opponent we're going about here to face, did in the offseason. They got themselves a quarterback. Justin Herbert comes in, signs a big contract. So far, you can see four touchdowns, four picks to start off this season. Maybe not what they're looking for right now. You can see the completion percentage only at 60%. But this Seahawks team has been looking for a quarterback, obviously, since trading Russell Wilson. And they are hoping they have their quarterback and hopefully for them to propel them forward. But as for us, coming into this game, one in three, I mean, you can't afford many more losses here down the stretch. You really can't. We got to get back on track and let's try to get a win here at home against the Seahawks team. Let's get week five underway. Especially we got, I believe, the Vikings next week, Bears after that, two division games. I mean, you don't want to go into that game one and four. That is not what you want at all. I mean, this is not how we thought we were going to start the season, but got to put it behind us. You know, that first part of that season is gone. Let's just get it out of our heads and go from there. So, second down and 10. They'll hand off to BJ Dukes up the middle. No Kenneth Walker. So, that is a huge deal for us because Kenneth Walker is an absolute monster in the run game. He's fantastic. So, without him in this game, we'll see how they change up their game plan. First and 10, they go to the run game again. Dukes, and he throws off Hutchinson. And then I believe Ogan Joby just absolutely pulled him down by the face mask. But man, just throws off Aiden Hutchinson like he's nothing. And that's going to be a 15-yarder. Not what we want to see at all. Don't want to give him the extra yardage here. Want to make this offense go down the field. I mean, they, they have some weapons. Noah Fant, you can see it's going to be a flag on the plate. But Noah Fant, obviously DK Metcalf, absolute monster. Tyler Lockett still... Doing it here for the Seattle team. And obviously Justin Herbert now quarterback. So this offense is solid. And just at least we don't have to maybe worry about too much the run game. Third and 14. Pass is going to be well wide of lock and incomplete. So penalty doesn't come back to hurt us. We get the stop and brings on this offense. Kirk Bray, six touchdown, four picks. Still would love a uh, breakout chance with him. We got to get him up to either star something to continue his development first and ten he's gonna roll out he's got that speed and he's gonna beat everybody to the corner and he is gonna pick up 18 they'll give him 17 but he picks up a big first down i wasn't sure if he was gonna be able to get around that edge you know sometimes the speed differential doesn't always work out in your favor but it does there picks up the first and there's rashad bateman first catches a lion picks up a first down over the middle i think we're gonna play him more in the slot you know, Williams really on the outside. Keep him in the slot. I think that's going to work out. First and 10. Not going to get away this time. Yannick Ngakwe with the sack. And that is a loss of 11. Ngakwe's uh, having a pretty good season. Obviously, he's going to be tough there on the edge. Hopefully, Tristan Wirfs can keep care of him this higher game. As Rashad Bateman, another big catch. Trying to get him involved early. Get that confidence up. New team. Looking good so far. First and 10. Swift, not too much there. Maybe a yard as Daniel Robinson is going to be holding his wrist. Don't want to see any injuries there to the offensive line. Third and four. Bray over the middle. And there's Bateman again. Third catch in this drive. 
That's already as many catches as he's had the you know one of his best games of the season for the Ravens. So one more catch, that would be his season high. First and ten, Swift with the carry trying to get to the outside. Not a whole lot there. So it's a dislocated wrist for Robinson. So he will be done for the game. And that's why I got Abu line depth. It really is. Third and one. Bray tries to take it himself. He had a chance to pitch it either forward for the you know shovel pass or back behind him. But he took it himself. Doesn't get it. And fourth and inches. We're just going to go for it. And we're going to sneak it up the middle. We got it first down. And we got a first and goal now. But now from the nine, second and goal. Bray fires underneath. Ridley with the catch. Just short at the two. Third down and goal. And if you're going to play new linebackers there, we're going to run this to Swift. And he's going to cut it up for the touchdown. Yeah, if you're going to play that type of defense on the goal line, you know, we're going to try to take advantage. And we do. Swift goes in for the touchdown. Nice drive down the field, getting Bateman involved. Key fourth down conversion there. And Swift's going to finish it off, getting in the end zone TD as we take the early lead here, 7-0. So this offense of Seattle, they go to Dukes with the run and not going anywhere. Rodriguez, nice job just cutting through. Him and Bush are just fantastic. This, the speed, you know, the play recognition, they are very good and obviously don't miss a lot of tackles. Third and five, underneath, that's going to be caught. There's Metcalf with the grab. See what this flag is. And that's going to add an extra 15. So we got to cut out these personal foul calls. These 15 yarders. This time it's on Tack McKinley. Extra 15. Puts his Seahawks team up to the 43 yard line. Second and nine. Outside. And it's caught. And that'll be tackled. And now it brings up a third and four to start off this second quarter as we bring the heat. And it works out perfectly. Rodriguez will get in there. Bring down Justin Herbert. And they're going to try a 61, 62 yard field goal. I know they have the wind helping them out. This kick is up, and it is good! I did not expect that at all. I think it's around 8 mile an hour wind. So the wind was helping out. They try the field goal, and they drill it from 62. Okay. So 7-3, to three, and a nice run there from Gus Edwards. As Edwards now, room to run. Got some blockers in front of him. He'll be brought down from behind, but still another good run. Another first down. As we head into Seahawks territory. First and ten now. Single back is going to be Swift. Play action. Bray looking down the field. Time to throw. Fires. And he's got Bateman with the catch. And Bateman. Spin move. Breaks off a tackle. And he's in for the touchdown. Rashad Bateman. Making a fantastic debut here in Detroit. Breaks the tackle for the touchdown. And that is our first wide receiver touchdown of the season. Took us to week five. First wide receiver touchdown as a guy that wasn't even on the team to start week one. There you go. As Rodriguez on the defensive side of the ball, though, is having himself one heck of a half here. Looking good. Third and 12. Pressure coming. And I don't know how that wasn't a fumble. I guess they're going to say his arm went forward, but Hutchinson there. And right now, this is this is some of the best we have looked the entire season. 14-3 lead. This offense looking pretty good, too. Second and eight over the middle. That's Adrian Olsen with the grab. Everybody looking good. I mean, Kirk Bray is having a very good game here so far. This is what we want to see from him. So at the 35, rolling out, fires open underneath. Here's Chandler Brooks. So both tight ends, once again, get involved. I mean, that's what we want to see. These guys are athletic, fantastic receivers. They are mismatches. And uh, we're taking advantage of this game here so far. Second and eight. Firing, trusting in your receivers. Your tight end, your big tight end. There's Chandler Brooks coming away with a grab. You know, he's got a linebacker on him. That's definitely a mismatch. It's a one-on-one -on -one situation. And you're just trusting that he's going to make the play. And he does. Helps out the quarterback. We're down to the one-yard line. Second down and goal with Gus Edwards in the backfield. And Edwards breaks one tackle. He's going to be brought down at the two. So loss of one. Clavion chasing there with the stop. So third down and goal now 
from the two. Play action. Have him in the flat. There you go. Touchdown, Adrian Olsen. And we got a 21-3 lead. 21-3. Everything going our way here in this first half. This is a type of game that we kind of needed. And, you know, we still a... Still got 340 left in this first half. You know, still have a second half. So we can't, you know, hold up yet. I know it's a, a decent lead here so far, but, you know, in this day and age in the NFL, I mean, a, a, a big-time lead can go away in a second as Dukes has got some room to run. McDougal will finally bring him down. That has a nice run up to the 44-yard line. First down, Seattle. As they're at least trying to answer back with a touchdown to get back into this game. Second and one. Herbert fires to the outside. That will be caught by Noah Fant. And that'll be a Seattle first down. As they go empty now on first down. And has a man open in the zone. That's Dukes, the running back. Did not really expect that, but he finds him. First down, down to the 11-yard line. Seattle, plenty of time left here in this first half. Underneath, Lockett's got it. He's in for the touchdown. So that's what I'm saying. You, 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 I know... You kind of, you know, we've been losing all these games, but 21-3, we just got to be careful. We still got a minute left here, now 21-10, so let's try to get something here. We're going deep. Jamison Williams, and he's got it! The catch, and he's down to the five! This is the best. This is looked. Kirk Prey is looking fantastic. I mean, he, we might have had Adrian Olsen on the other side, as you can see there for a second. That could have been a touchdown. But Jamison Williams beats both guys deep with that speed. Comes away with a grab. And we have a chance to score. A put the touchdown right back on him. Over the middle. Caught. Touchdown. Cedric Malone. <laughs> and we're utilizing everybody. Gets the TD. And we got a 28-10 lead here going into halftime. Man. Putting up 28 points, looking good. Kirk Bray looking fantastic. Back up to an 18-point game. So, yeah, 28-10. Can we take care of business here? Can we get back in the winning ways, try to get some momentum rolling, and get the 2-3? and three? So We'll have to finish this off here in this second half. So let's go around the league. Let's see what's going on. San Francisco and Minnesota. 21-10 lead for the 49ers. They're 1-3. That's that's very surprising. They have a very talented team. Minnesota just, they need a quarterback. I don't know how they're rolling with Teddy Bridgewater. Buffalo beats the Jets 38-21. Jets just can't seem to turn it around. Like they have in real life. They just can't seem in, in this game. Bills go to 3-2. and two, Big game from Diggs. And go to Chicago. Bears are 4-0, taking on the 3-1 Jags. 10-3 right about at halftime. That is a very good game there, but the Bears. What a start to the season. They have built a uh, very good team. They're, they're secondary. Corey Stinson, we'll see them here in a few weeks. They are very good. They are really good. Fields doing really well this season. Bears, maybe the top team in this division. We'll see. Now Swift with a good carry here to start off this second half. Man, if we can go down here, start this half, you know, get the back-to-back -back scores, put this up to maybe 35-10, that would be huge. Swift, another big hole up the middle. He's got the carry first down up to the 49-yard line. But, yeah, we can put just crazy amount of pressure here in Seattle, making this a 25-point game. Second and 10. Great to throw, looking down the field. Doesn't really see anything. He'll take it himself, and he's got that speed to pick up around 9. Close to a first and brings now third and one. Let's go to Swift. Give him the ball. He cuts up. He's got a first down. So drive continues. Running game looking solid here to start off this second half. Here comes the blitz. It's picked up though. Bray going deep to Bateman down the field. He had it in his hands it looked like. But he can't bring it down. We're de definitely taking more shots in this game down the field. As Gus Edwards... Find some running room. He picks up 15. So now maybe with those shots down the field, you know, the defense backing up a little bit. 
Opens up the run game. As Bray's going to keep this on the read option. And look at the blocks down the field. Propels Bray for the touchdown. That is some grade A blocking. Wow. Don't really see that a whole lot. And we saw it. Great block there. And look at Jamison Williams. He's like, I got you, man. I'm not going to let this guy hit you at all. I'm going to propel you to get into the end zone. Just full effort down the field. Wonderful blocks. And we got the touchdown. That's 35-10. And now here comes Kirby Joseph. You know, lost his starting job, started his rookie year. Loses his starting job. More of a backup role. And now, since he's been really performing very well, you know, Elliott now gone. He has his starting job back. Makes a good play, but not... Uh, that Texas route definitely destroyed us right there. Down the seam. That's going to be caught. That's going to be a first down to the 34-yard line. So now the Seahawks team, I would say, definitely in pass mode. Down 25. Can't really be running the ball too, too much. Got to be more, you know... Careful where you run the ball. Third and five going down the field, and Metcalf has got it. He beats Hughes, who I think just overran it. As Metcalf makes the play on the ball, touchdown Seattle. That was a quick, quick score. So back to an 18-point game. Question is, can they stop our offense? Because we have been really good. Is Jamison Williams catch? That's a first down to the 40-yard line. So second and four now. Go back to the run game. Swift. Man, look at the blocking down the field. Everything good. Just can't make the one guy miss, but still, another good run into Seattle territory. Offense moving it here. Third and four. Look out! That's going to be a sack. And that actually might knock us out of field goal range. I think it might. Uh, yeah, we're going to just punt the ball, trust in our defense, and we get it down to the nine. So second and six, single back's going to be Dukes. Herbert to throw. Quick throw, finds Metcalf for the catch. And that's going to be a first down here for Seattle. Getting out of that bad field position. But after a false start, first and 15. Herbert throwing over the middle. Got it, Noah Fant. And Fant's got a catch up to the 32 first down. All right, we got to we, we gotta slow things down a little bit. They're picking up too many chunk plays. Herbert looking on first and ten. He has an open man. Metcalf. He beats Akuda. And with his speed, he's not going to be caught. Touchdown. DK Metcalf in Seattle. In a blink of an eye is back in it. DK Metcalf has just propelled them back in this game. Man, yeah, with that speed, forget about it. It's 35-24. We just had a 25-point lead like literally three minutes ago. Two straight touchdowns for the Seattle team. And we're kind of in a shootout here at the moment. As Bateman with the grab, that's a first down. He'll get into the, uh, do, uh, Seattle territory up to the 46-yard line, over 100 yards. He's having his best game of the season here in his debut, first and 10. Gus Edwards. So he start this fourth quarter. He gets up to the 35. Yeah, there's there is really not a whole lot of defense being played so far in this game. It really isn't. Both teams have uh, not been playing well on the defensive side of the ball. Offense rolling so far. Second and nine. Bray fires, and that's going to be caught. Was that Malone, Cedric Malone with the catch? That was a tough grab and, and a guy right on you. And that's a great catch. First down. We're going to play action here. Bray looking. Fires. Has Williams. He's got it for the touchdown. Jamison Williams with a TD, and I think that is Bray's fourth TD of the game. So maybe this is this is our chance. This is kind of his breakout game, and usually when you have the breakout games like this, there's a good possibility that the next week there's a chance for a dev upgrade. That is what I'm really hoping for, but... Great drive down the field. We, we needed to score touchdowns because the way Seattle's doing it right now, I mean, they're going to get right down the field and get right back. Good job. Touchdown. And, yeah, um, our pass defense not looking good so far. Noah Fant catch first down. And now they're going to set up a screen. And, man, it is perfect. Over the middle. Dukes has got it. 
up to the 33-yard line. I mean, Justin Herbert has been near perfect in this game. We're trying to bring some more heat down the seam. Lockett's got it. Whatever we're trying, it is just not working. Zone, man, blitz, you know, nickel blitz, zone blitz, whatever. There, he's just shredding it. Second and goal now. Fires to the outside. Got it. Noah Fant. Touchdown. Man, there. That was easy. Back to an 11 point game we go. 6 14 left. We cannot slow down. I mean, we're going to have to put some points up. If they get a stop, I mean, this is going to be a one possession game in an instant. Bray firing down the field. Adrian Olsen's got it. Comes up with a huge grab. And that's a first down. What a play for the rookie tight end. Might actually have an open receiver over the middle, but trusting in, in that tight end, and he came out perfect. Second and eight. Bray's going to roll out, and he is going to slide down and actually inbounds, too, and the first. So that'll keep, keep that clock running. Got to take off as much clock as we possibly can here. Still got to pick up some points, I believe. Second and seven. Bray fires open man. Olsen grab and he's down to the six. Yeah, maybe now if we can put in a touchdown. I mean, maybe that'll close the game out because it just won't be enough time to you know, put up that many points. First and goal. Bray's going to keep it. Gets blocks and he's in for the touchdown. His second rushing touchdown of this game. And he has six total touchdowns. What a game for Kirk Bray. This is the best we have ever seen him. He's had a, I would say, inconsistent start to the season. But maybe this is the turnaround. Maybe this is the game that gets it going forward because what a game he has put on here today. 49-31. Ball is loose! And it's going to be picked up by Melifon Wu! Dukes with a... I mean, I wouldn't really... I mean, I guess a costly turnover, but... This game probably was about over. You know, you're, you, even though their offense is just putting up points, you know, down 18 with about two minutes left, uh, you're just not going to have any, that many possessions. And with that run, first down by Gus Edwards. And that will do it. 49-31 is going to be your final. A lot of yards in this game. A lot of offense. But we get a little slice of defense there at the end with the fumble. But Kirk Bray, man, this is what we were hoping for when we drafted him. He had some moments last year. Obviously took us to an NFC Championship game. This year, a little slow out of the gate. And, man, what a game he had. Fantastic. And it's good to get a victory. Perfect QB rating. Puts up just about 400 yards passing, four touchdowns. No picks. Absolutely perfect. And not only that, in the run game, he did it as well. He had 70 yards rushing, two touchdowns. That's one of the best games you'll see, really, from any quarterback. I would say he's definitely going to be a play, offense player of the week. Also with the TD, what a what a debut for Rashad Bateman. Five for 120 and a touchdown. Cedric Malone had... Himself a touchdown. Jamison Williams, 4 for 117 in the TD. Yeah, really was a little quiet in that game. Um, but, man, what a game offensively. I would say the Seattle defense is up there, but it's tough in, in, against any you know NFL opponent to put up that many points. And uh, we did it. Kirk Bray, great job. Jamison Williams with an update. We'll do deep threat, one catching, one deep, two deep route, one medium route, and one release. He's up to an 84 overall. Adrian Olsen. He is obviously injured in the preseason. Week one, we kind of didn't really get him involved. Uh, just wanted to slowly get him going. Chandler Brooks started, but ever since then, he has just been outrageous. So good. And... I would say almost him and Chandler Brooks, who has himself an upgrade as well, might be battling for that Rookie of the Year. We'll see. We'll do that possession upgrade. But if you see below, there's an ability slot. So does that mean he is going to be a superstar? Hmm. There's a good... I, I would guess that's what that means. So I would think he's going to be a superstar. 
Kirk Bray wins Offensive Player of the Week. Yeah, with those stats, I would say for sure. Look at Nick Bosa, four sacks for the Niners. Lamar Jackson on the other side. I mean, kind of, there you go. Kind of both guys, just outstanding games, rushing and passing. We'll see the 49ers team, though, in a few weeks' time, just a couple weeks. But now we got the Vikings on the docket, and there you go. Breakout quarterback chance. We got this. Is got this is going to be huge. This game is not only going to be huge to keep in the division because you don't want to fall to two and four, but we got to get that development trade up for Kirk Bray. We got to get it up to a star development and keep going from there. This game will be huge. That's going to do it for this one, though. Thank you once again so much for watching. I appreciate all you guys out there watching, supporting, and liking this video. Um, I, I, it's awesome. Thank you so much. But we will see you in the next one. You guys have a good weekend. Enjoy your football Sunday. I'll see you. Have a good one. Bye-bye.